hi again you guys welcome to another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records so this is how this works if you guys have been here before you you, you get the drift uh, if you're new um, we are gonna play a song and uh, this uh, this is gonna be a episode or an edition um, um, about Johnny Rivers the great Johnny Rivers and we're kind of doing that because one I have about 16 of his records that have been either I've accumulated or been given to me, thanks Radio Dave. Um, check out uh, uh, my good friend uh, Dave Milberg. Uh, he gave me about two-thirds of this stack of records. He has got a wonderful podcast. It's called Rare and Scratchy Rock and Roll. You can find it on all of the most common and popular uh, podcasts and streaming programs. And he's got a vast knowledge and a vast collection of recorded music. Um, and he's got a lot of really interesting things that he talks about the stories behind the song. So check out uh, Rare and Scratchy Rock and Roll uh, by my good friend uh, Radio Dave. So, uh, so we're going to play a song by Johnny Rivers. But before we do that, we've got to go through this big, massive pile of records by the great Johnny Rivers. So um, in, kind of, in kind of chronological order, this is the great Johnny Rivers. Look at how old this thing is. Wow. Well, he's still out there touring. My wife and I are going to see him with the great Jimmy Webb up at Ravinia this uh, next, actually next weekend. Wow. So we we've got uh, plenty to go through. Now here's his series of records that he recorded at the fabulous nightclub, the Whiskey A Go Go. Wow, what a place! I think four of his first six records were recorded right there at the Whiskey. So this is called um, Johnny Rivers at the Whiskey A Go-Go. Recorded live, very live. That's it, still exists, been there. Um, and then here we are, here we go again with Maybelline Johnny Rivers. Recorded live, very, very live at the Whiskey A Go-Go. Man, you wanna see some killer wear rings? Look at that. These are fantastic. Did you see the backside of that? These are beat up and I love it. So here's Meanwhile, back at the Whiskey A Go Go. This has a little bit of uh, well, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna, I don't really need this on here. I've got other ways, but I wanna have you guys see it without that glare. Let's, let's keep going, Johnny Rivers, Golden Hits. 12 of the uh, live, uh, liveliest. Boy, these are also recorded mostly at the Whiskey A Go Go. So he has a, 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 a affiliation with uh, Jimmy Webb. Jimmy Webb was writing some of the great songs he recorded. Here's the very best of Johnny Rivers. Wow. This keeps going. Here it is Changes, Johnny Rivers. Produced by the great Lou Adler. He's had a lot of great people play, uh, from Hal Blaine and some of the Wrecking Crew. Here's Johnny Rivers, 20 Greatest Hits. Wow. And I thought he was mostly doing other people's songs, but he's written a fair number of his own songs. But of course he's done um, songs uh, of his own. This is a very well-known record he did on here. The second track is called uh, Swayin' to the Music, um, in parens, Slow Dancing from 19... Uh, 1977, that was a huge AM radio smash hit that we heard over and over. It was a good song. This is Homegrown from about, well, probably sometime in the 70s. Fabulous record cover. So, I'm sure uh, my friend Radio Dave is going to chime in. This is one of his favorite artists. Uh, feel free to use the comments down below, Dave, and uh, chime in and tell us what you know about um, the great Johnny Rivers, which I know is pretty, uh, pretty vast. This is uh, Johnny Rivers, Road. In fact, this was given probably to, to uh, Radio Dave because it was a promotional DJ copy. Fantastic. And blue suede shoes. 
Uh, the great Michael O'Martian plays on here. So many other greats. Who else am I seeing? Chuck Finley. Larry Carlton. Larry Nectel. The ubiquitous Jim Gordon. Or the omnipresent. Um, here's Johnny. Uh, this is a famous record of his. Slim Slow Slider. And he's still out there, too. One of the pioneers of, uh, of rock, for sure. Here is Realization. Man, this guy really was prolific. This is kind of like uh, Exhibit A on why we collect vinyl records. This is fantastic. And then here it is, uh, A Touch of Gold. So many, there's just, he's just such a great catalog. So we're going to play a deep track. We're going to play a song by, on Borrowed Time. It's called China, and I really, really like it. I uh, just discovered it today uh, as I was preparing to uh, gather these records together and get the equipment started. I just put on some Johnny Rivers records, and I stumbled upon China on this great record. So we'll get it going.
great song. Wow, that's Johnny Rivers. That's fantastic. I love that song. So a lot of this is uh, for my uh, edification, and it helps me to uncover songs that I never would have played, ever. I've got so many songs, I've got no, uh, no ability and, and time to play every song that uh, I have on these many, many thousands of uh, great records that are down here. But this gives me a chance to uncover something new. Could have played something way more common than that, but boy, I really like uh, trying to uh, uncover the deep tracks, and uh, that's also the fun of this. So um, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. If you want to subscribe, that's pretty cool, too. You can use the comments down below. I take requests uh, from time to time, try to fit those in, and this is how it works. This was another edition of Curtis Collects Vinyl Records. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.